I guess my question is uh, for the for the objective. Uh, I was thinking about what if the objective was for AI was to solve like global poverty, and maybe building a bottom up model where we develop a justified trusted model for universal basic income, and having people innovate in developing and emerging economies so that we can get it right or develop a proof of concept that then they can bring to uh, developed economies uh, at scale. And so I was just curious about your thoughts of focusing maybe an objective overall for AI to solve maybe global poverty. The goal of solving global poverty is a, is a great part, I think. You know, if you, uh, if you did add up all the preferences of all the people on Earth, um, I think bringing the... You know, there's about two billion people who I would say have a uh, a reasonable standard of living, and then um, the rest I think have you know anything from you know acceptable down to utterly miserable standard of living. Um, I was just looking at some stats. So there are dozens of countries where the healthcare expenditure per person is less than twenty dollars a year. So when when we in AI think about oh we can use AI systems to uh, to look at X-rays. Well, an X-ray costs seven hundred and twenty dollars in the U.S. Uh, so that <laughs> that's thirty-six people's healthcare for an entire year to have one X-ray. Um, and so the the differences uh, are so enormous. And uh, I don't know what the answer is. I mean, one thing is clear: it's not just a matter of money because um, if everyone in uh, in these least developed countries suddenly had access to a universal basic income, uh, it wouldn't help because they don't have the capacity to provide the goods and services uh, which people could buy with this basic income. And so it's, it's a very complicated bootstrapping process involving education uh, and development of infrastructure, development of institutions, uh, as well as having money. I mean, money is a good thing to have if you want, uh, if you want this to work as well. Um, and uh, you know, I think AI can help with this, but at least for the foreseeable future, it's got it's got to be on the human beings uh, to to organize and solve those problems and to deploy the resources that AI can bring. So, for example, we can, I think, uh, perhaps in five to ten years' time, have AI systems that provide extremely high quality education uh, in the native language of whatever country you wish um, on any subject under the sun. Um, but how do you then use that, right? What do you teach people, um, and how do you uh, take the result, which is educated, trained people, uh, and deploy them in your economy, right? If you don't have a functioning market, then uh, you know it's no good being uh, an extremely good commodity trader if there's no market for you to trade in, uh, and so on. So there's uh, there's a lot of steps that have to be taken. Right. Um, uh, if I may, Francesco, add, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, uh, of course, these are difficult uh, problems to understand how the technology like AI can help uh, to solve these big uh, societal and uh, world level problems. Uh, um, but the good thing is that there are initiatives that uh, tackle exactly that uh, point, you know, how to make sure that uh, uh, we understand how to use AI, for example, to achieve or move towards the achievement of the 17 sustainable development goals of the UN, uh, among which uh, there is, you know, give health care for everybody, you know, remo re remove poverty and so on. Uh, and so every year in Geneva, uh, the UN agencies get together uh, in a conference called AI for Good, which has exactly that uh, uh, goal to put together AI people on one side, UN agencies on the other side, so the people who know the problems to be solved and the people who can find the right solutions. And so that's a very also another initiative that is very that started like uh, uh, three years ago or two years ago. I mean, uh, there are already been two conferences um, every May. Uh, and I think that's very important, you know, to participate because really it can help us understand how to solve those big problems. Right. Wendell, you wanted a short comment? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Francesco was also at another conference. I know recently AI for People and the week before last, I was in Mumbai at a conference AI for, ev for everyone. So. 
these goals are out there. There is a broad concern of whether AI um, can be utilized to solve some of our greatest problems in healthcare and poverty and so forth. But I will want to say one thing that I said both in Mumbai and, at, and in the ITU conference at the UN this year, this emphasis on AI for everyone also belies the concern that AI may not be for everyone. And that this is, that AI may also contribute toward extreme inequality. And if it's, ex if it's exacerbating inequalities, it may actually undermine the realization of the sustainable development goals of the UN and otherwise. So the concern here is that when we have these conferences, they are not just a patchwork quilt that is put as an overlay to give AI a mask that it will do some things for humanity as a whole, but that we actually make sure that that is the case and that we, in some sense or another, deal with the, the tremendous inequality, the distribution problem that we will have, particularly if the IT oligopoly is also the AI oligopoly, then whether you talk about universal basic income or a higher standard of living for everyone or 15.7 trillion growth in, in world GDP by 2030, as Price Waterhouse Coopers has said, that those resources are truly used to raise a lot of humanity as a whole. <laughs>